Hi, my name is Isabel, and my string quartet titled Blue Veil is based on the painting Blue Veil by Morris Lewis, painted circa 1958. It's my favorite painting in the galleries at the art museums. I've always been drawn to its beautiful layered colors and its huge scale. It's more than two meters tall and almost four meters wide, and the experience of looking at it is very immersive. I love how much serenity and flow it evokes. My composition was very inspired by Morris Lewis's process for making Blue Veil. He painted it by pouring thin acrylic paint directly onto a stretch of raw canvas, allowing gravity to do a lot of the work. I was also inspired by a poem by Anne Whitehouse dedicated to Morris Lewis, which responds to Blue Veil. Part of it reads, Imagine the sea without a surface, the sky without a sun, and no earth at all, only the light blending into pigments and arching back again. What you'll hear is my attempt to mirror the painting's vastness, subtlety, and its relationship to gravity. I explored different textures of sound and tonal centers in order to represent the painting's layered hues and large gestures, as well as to recall the overall sensation of calm and awe that I get whenever I stand in front of it. I hope you enjoy and thank you for listening.
My name is George Cooper, and I have composed Sense and Sensibility based on Katsushika Hokusai's woodblock print titled Under the Wave off Kanagawa. I chose this artwork because my best friend's family displayed it in the dining room, which I frequented, and because I admire the mostly blue color palette it used. It reminds me of home, and I enjoy the biblical themes Hokusai explores. What you will hear is a contemporary take on a classic waltz. The score starts with a rhythmic chaos that transitions into a 3-4 time signature conflict between the humans and ocean included in the woodblock print. It concludes with a 4-4 time signature section in which the viola mediates between the twin violins and cello. Thank you for listening. My name is Alex Chin, and my string quartet is based on a 17th century painting called Moonlit Estuary by Dutch artist Art Wundernier, which depicts a landscape at night lit only by a full moon. When I first saw this painting, I was immediately struck by its permeating darkness, but also its beautiful serenity. I wanted to capture both of these in my piece. Each part of my composition represents something different in the painting. The people, the moon, the buildings in the background. 
You'll also hear white noise at the beginning and end of the piece. Does this represent permeating darkness or beautiful serenity? I leave that to you to experience. Please enjoy. My name is Daniel, and I have composed a piece for string quartet based on the painting Leander's Tower on the Bosporus by Sanford Robinson Gifford. I chose this piece because when walking around the galleries of the Harvard Art Museums, I was immediately struck by the vivaciousness of its colors and the way the individual elements of the piece combined to form the landscape. Orally, this shows through three main sections of the piece, the first embodying the foreground rowboat, the second representing the tower, and the third combining all previous elements to create the city and landscape in its entirety. The primary characteristics of the composition are warm chords, rising and falling melodies, and ever-changing musical environments, all chosen in the pursuit of capturing the awe and hope that Gifford himself worked to evoke in his landscape. As he described, the scene is a vision of a fairyland, the towers and domes and minarets glittering and golden in the early sun. I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Autumn Dorsey, and I have composed a string quartet called Story of Prometheus, based on a painting by John Singer Sargent with the title Study for Prometheus. I chose this artwork because of the movement in this painting and the agony and violence that is portrayed without a speck of blood. This piece has three parts, the stealing of fire, Zeus's anger, and the injustice against Prometheus. Through this piece, I hope you can hear Prometheus sneaking around until he discovers fire, Zeus's rage as he discovers what Prometheus has done, and Prometheus's agony as he is punished for something that I believe was not a crime. Thank you for listening. My name is Nick Eccles, and I composed Flow State based on uh, Albert Burstadt's Rocky Mountains Landers Peak painting of 1895 from the Harvard Art Museum. And I chose this artwork because it's an image of nature in its purest form, and there's a religious aspect as well in the middle of the piece. And you'll be able to hear the transition from a melancholy melody to this religious flow state.
Hi, my name is Nina Ijomanta, and I've composed the piece Gone and Sometimes, based on the Barclay L. Hendricks painting October's Gone, Good Night. I found this painting to be really beautiful, and Hendricks' attention to and exclusion of choice details lends to the work being both situated in a time period and ultimately timeless. What you'll hear is a string quartet performed in two parts. The first section, Gone, captures the references to 1970s fashion and life, the subject silhouette, golden hoops, and more. Sometimes it breaks sonically from this 70s-inspired groove to capture the timeless qualities of the figure, her eyes, her expression, and her blank background. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy listening. Hi, my name is Emil Massad, and I've composed Lander's Peak in three parts based on Albert Bierstadt's painting, Lander's Peak, which is a portrait of the Rockies. I chose this artwork because I love musical portraits of landscapes, especially of the American West. You'll hear three parts to this composition. The piece begins on the lake, which is in the lower background of the painting. The second part describes the forest and the foreground, including a very small bear on the left that has just killed and is eating a deer. You'll hear that character introduced through a cello cadenza, followed by the bear chasing and then catching the deer. The third part describes the mountains, both the summits and the jagged mountain ranges below. I hope you enjoy.
My name is Chuhe Moon, and I have composed a piece called Nocturne in Blue and Silver for String Quartet as a response to the painting Nocturne in Blue and Silver by James Abbott McNeil Whistler. I chose this artwork, which depicts the River Thames at night, because I felt that this painting, although quite beautiful, dreamlike, and peaceful at first glance, the longer your eyes linger, the more it evokes conflicting themes of the tension between nature and the industry, as well as the tension between the beauty and death that the Thames represents. What you will hear is the blurring of lines between tranquility and solemnness, and the contrast between dreamlike and flowy harmonics and industrial, harsh, and repetitive motifs. I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Christopher Lepop, and I have composed Light Red Room based on Red and Pink by George O'Keefe. I chose this artwork because when I first saw it, it left such a strong impression on me that I began to imagine what it would be like to truly be in the painting. It resulted in a vivid image of the close-up of flower petals as a setting rather than as a position of observation. What you will hear is a representation of the emotions found in such a foreign environment which, after the initial shock, 
somehow develops into a warm and secure place, like the tendrils of a sea anemone to a clownfish. My name is William Pryor. I have composed this piece based on the painting Unity by Louis Del Sarte. I chose this artwork because of its expressions of vibrant aesthetic culture and unapologetic blackness, emblematic of the Harlem Renaissance. What you will hear is an extended motif that incorporates rhythm and blues, representing the ongoing struggle of black Americans in our current society with a vision of an ideal reality. Thank you. <laughs>